We are back 17 on set talking about a topic that affects everybody and that is money and your credit report. Neil Schwartz, a local attorney specializing in bankruptcy. Good morning to you. Good morning. You like to see people hopefully not having to come to you through bankruptcy. Right. What I'd like to do is see people improve their credit and know how to intelligently use their credit. One thing I would suggest for my clients post bankruptcy to help rebuild your credit is you do want to get a credit card, mm -hmm. use it for a tank of gas or a gym membership. My preference is a gym membership because you don't physically need the card. You bring it to the gym. Automatic debit. Yes. And then mm -hmm. you set it to automatically pay off every month. So it's using the credit card, but you're not really out there in your wallet. You literally say, keep it in a safe, keep it in a safe place where right. you're literally not. I've heard of people putting in a cup of water and freezing, freezing it, it, right? In their freezers. You literally can't use that card. That's one tip because people, you say, you do it even. You, yeah. You know, it's everybody impulsive. overspends uh, every once in a while. Let's talk about your credit report and how you can help fix it because that's an important thing. Um, what exactly is a charge off? Because you say, people say, oh, look, it was charged off. No big deal. The credit company doesn't it. want right. the money anymore. What a charge off means is they've now decided not to attempt to collect on it anymore. They're sending it to a collection agency. Once your credit goes to a collection agency, your credit has taken a hit. So if it was a six or 700, it's now going to be lowered. Even if you now pay it off, you've already taken the hurt to your credit. A charge off doesn't mean they've said, you know what? We're never going to collect it. We'll call it good. <laughs> We're going to forget about this. Exactly. How long do things stay on your credit report? Things like collections, bankruptcy. Collection stays on your credit report for seven years. Bankruptcy stays for 10. Now, a popular misunderstanding is, oh, it's 10 years. No one's going to give me a credit card. No one's going to do anything. People love to give post-bankruptcy debtors credit cards. Why? They expect them to foul it up, go over the limit, incur additional charges. And by doing that, they're going to make a lot more money off someone who doesn't have good credit as opposed to someone who does. And pays the truth. You're going to be paying interest because you're getting right. behind. And really quickly, can you remove truthful things from your credit report? No. Anyone who advertises that they can is committing fraud. Can they for a short period of time possibly? But to go out and say, I can remove truth from your credit report is false advertising. In addition, your credit report's there to help you understand what your borrowing limit is. If you can buy a million dollar house because of false things in your credit report, eventually not you're not going to be able to afford it anyway. And, they're gonna and that's not what you want. Come have to visit you. Exactly. <laughs> Neil Schwartz, local bankruptcy attorney. As always, thanks for coming in with us. Thanks this for morning. having me. Good to see you. I'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.